Reports this weekend that high street banks have profited, uh, pocketed up almost £5 billion. £5 billion as a result of interest rate rises, which they're passing on to people through increasing their mortgage rates, but not raising savings rates, savings account rates, by the same level. That shortfall, that difference, resulting in £4.8 billion of profits for high street banks as a result. Easy solution, isn't it? Tax it all. Governments say, look, you've done nothing to earn that. You're already earning decent profits on top of that. That £5 billion that you've made through no skill or talent or investment of your own, just good luck, good fortune, it's a windfall, we'll have that and we'll use that £5 billion to help subsidise the mortgages of the people who are seeing their rates go up and up and up because you've passed on those rates but not while not doing the same in relation to saving. Simple solution, isn't it? £5 billion pot there to help people who most need it, people like Sarah, people like Jackie with their mortgages who are working flat out, doing everything they can, skipping meals to pay their mortgages while the banks make £5 billion off the back of those interest rate rises. That is a very simple solution. Who realistically can oppose that? That's what the government should be doing, isn't it? Easy. Job done. I just feel like I'm working to just survive. There's kind of nothing left over for any of the good things in life. Mm. And you just think, what's the point, really? It's like, this is not what life is supposed to be. And I'm not alone in that. You know, we're just existing. Most, you know, a, a huge majority in this country are just existing. Every day is a struggle. There is nothing to look forward to. Um, and as to who I blame, well, I blame Liz Truss. Uh, and I think it's shameful that she's got her honours list, uh, you know, because she was a prime minister for, what was it, 56 days. Frankly, I think she should be on trial. Um, well, she's flying she around the world answering. making hundreds of thousands of pounds for speeches while you're having one meal a day, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, if she had been running a, a major company and done had done what she did with mm. <laughs> with the UK economy, she'd probably be behind bars now. And frankly, she should be behind bars. You know, but this you... this country is shambolic, isn't it? Because nobody... I saw Michael Gove being interviewed this morning. Mm. Insisting uh, that the they... government's already doing enough to help more, more people like you, Sarah, really. Yeah. And, and, you know, I blame the government because... You know, we've seen in this country there is a crisis in terms of housing. That's why rents are so high. That's why house prices mm. are so high. Mm. And, you know, we have no tangible plan in place to actually replenish housing stock. You know, there are literally hundreds of thousands of yep. people who need homes yep. and there is no plan yep. that is coming forth from this government after, what is it, 12 years in government. It is absolutely shameful. I don't know what to say to you. I, I can't offer you any advice, but my heart is with you. My heart goes out to you because you're, you're doing everything right. You're working 70 hours a week. You're working hard. You're not spending money. You're sacrificing. You're making cuts on your own expense and it's still not enough. Because of what's gone in Ukraine or because of Liz Truss or whatever. It it doesn't help you, does it? You're doing everything you can. Last last 11 months, I had breakfast, just a toast and a cup of tea. I have lunch, literally, I would find the cheapest deal anywhere um, to buy a sandwich or whatever it is. Dinner, sometimes I eat it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes you, you skip dinner. Yeah, I can't afford it. Is this having an impact on your health? Because it sounds to me like it, it, it is. probably I'm, is. I'm type 2 diabetic and I've got high blood pressure. You're type 2 diabetic and you're skipping meals because yes. you can't afford to have three yes. meals a day. So yesterday, I didn't eat anything for 12 hours or drink oh, because I couldn't afford to buy a bottle of water. <sighs> have, you tried, have you tried getting help? Have you been to the council? Have you been to Citizens uh, Advice? Is there I've anything out there for advice, you? Uh, yeah, I've been to citizen advice or anything because my salary is over 35k. Yeah, I, I don't qualify for anything. So there's just nothing on offer for you. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. I I I can't give you any advice. I can't give you anything useful to go on other than to say you're not alone, and a lot of people be in a similar situation. But of course, that doesn't help you, does it? You just want someone to step in and say, look, even in the short term, here's something to just help tide you over. Exactly. I'm, I've been. I start from the scratches. I start from a working McDonald's as a team member. So buying that house was my dream. So jumping in the world. And I'm trying my best to just to hold to that house and just to 
come out of this now. To, to, get, to get through it. I'm trying my best. For the sake of, and, you, and you are. I can hear you doing everything right, and it's still not enough because of the situation and the climate that we are in. Jakey, I'm so sorry. I wish I could say something that would help. I mean, my heart really does go out to you because that is just, I can I can hear, I can hear the stress it's putting you under. I can hear the impact you're telling me it's having on your health. And yet we have the government saying, look, we're already doing enough. We're doing all we can. Even in the short term, they're going to have to do something on it. Even if it's a loan, even if it's a loan just to help people through the last few months, even if it has to be paid back later down the line. I'm angry with the government. I know they're trying to balance the books, but... 13 rises in a 12-month span. But they don't, they don't decide on interest rates, of course. It's the Bank of England. OK, so whoever's running that show then, you know, they're not giving people time to breathe. Mm. You know, I, I know my mortgage is not that huge on my personal property, but the families out there, I absolutely feel it for some of these you. people out there yep. um, who have taken the larger mortgages out there. And I saw there's going to be a lot of um, repossessions. There is. Um, there's going to be people made homeless. homeless. There's going to be a lot of people made homeless because of this, unless something happens in the interim period to stop that happening.